Hello everybody, welcome to the quarterfinals preview of CCL Season 53. In the booth with me is Fimey. Hello. Hello. What a pleasure to be here in the last 16 of the CCL 53. And we want to dedicate this, you know, preview of our, to our viewers in... Nauru. I think it's the second time that Nauru appears here, tiny island, but, you know, <laughs> with the national flower, the Calophilum, and the national dish, coconut fish. You know, mm -hmm. We follow every single country in the world, doesn't matter the size. There you go. Right. So we'll go through down from the top. So we've got Buya Kasha versus Nida and Tom Tit. And <laughs> what a great, what a great matchup here. Yep, this is Kill Bill versus Hancock. We've got 19.53 humans, 1600 TV, a uh, couple of poms, some guard. Not terrible. Leap ID for guard uh, catcher. Mm. Only 11 players, but could go up to 12. One, two, three, Three's. four guard. Oof, four guard is not going to be enough, eh? <laughs> It might be a little bit tricky, but they, they've got the movement, haven't they? They all, you know, that that's the advantage that humans has is movement. But um, it's going to be very, very tough for him. Hey, because they only have three movement seven and uh, one movement eight. Mm. It's going to be very tough because Hancock's team is 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 Chorf's twenty six seven five. Look at that, two full claw bombers, horns. Oh man, strength up bull. But the the strength for ball carriers injured. Huge injury. Big one. Big, big one. He has to carry the ball with probably that hog goblin that hasn't leveled it yet. That I'm guessing is gonna be sure hands. Yes, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Also there's a good chance of a wizard for uh for Kill Bill, so like that's like that's pretty good, right? That at least you know he'd be carrying the ball anyway. <laughs> yeah. Versus the yeah, wizard. Yeah, carry the ball, you know. So only so twelve men it. might have to buy the, another one or two. But the killing potential of uh, Hancock's team is absolutely brutal. Yeah, yeah, it's so rowdy. And, uh, I mean, so rowdy has a two by long uh, pieces, but all of them are mighty blow claw. You know, it has three mighty blow, but all of them have claw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So I, yeah, it's it's team wide, team wide. It hasn't got the team wide bashing of like a dwarf team, but the good players are really good. Yes. So I think favorite there is Hancock. Now we've got four rats versus a brutal deluxe. Hmm. It's Napruha with the uh, four rats. Nineteen one two, beautiful record. And it's a weird. It's not a very good team, is it? There's just not a lot there. <laughs> Seems that maybe you know being a DCCL uh, cap in Blue Ball Two happening at the same time that Blue Ball Three, many people just stop playing Blue Ball Two or something like that because this is not a rust team that in the past would ever even be able to dream about the qualifying. <laughs> yeah. Seen by the team, maybe they were you know playing very good games, taking advantage of everything, you know, but. If you show me this team and tell me yeah, this is one of the top teams in the CCL, what are you talking about? <laughs> they are like 200 uh, TV uh, smaller than they should be. Yeah, and they don't even have anything good. Like, you know, we've seen 600 TVs, like, you know, if you had an Edge 5 gutter or whatever, but the gutter is no a claw, No claw, uh, only one tackle, no gutter runners. Mm. Okay, I mean, the street ball, two heads, uh, Russell is a good. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, the, they're fine. They're obviously. fine. You know, uh, yes, there is uh, no can open it, no. Mm. But, you know, good coach, good record. So that goes a long way, having a good coach and a good yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yes. Coaching is not to be underestimated. He's a very good coach. Up against Man Jake, who's also very good. And uh, going with Orcs, Rich Inch, 24-3-0. So a better record. No losses oh. whatsoever on this team. Oh. And a pretty fucking scary team as well. <laughs> he has a three tackle, a very good ball carrier, 
mm. a very good uh, build juggernaut grab yeah yeah that's that does grab work with juggernaut um well you can juggernaut when you blitz and grab when you block oh <laughs> uh, yeah 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 uh, you can grab with you yeah mm, interesting but, um, that's a uh, okay but uh, what is uh, i think is missing here is uh, besides not having <laughs> having only 10 players <laughs> Is that uh, he's missing a stand farm? Mm. Yep, so the one turn. The one turn for the rats could happen. Yes, the one turn uh, for the rats could happen. And uh, missing, yes, more than a few guard too. Missing five guard. <laughs> Not really missing that. <laughs> Ducky, of course, referring to his own orc team from the previous season. This is about as much guard as you can possibly get on, a, on an orc team. Like, this is quite reasonable right the dedicated killer has foregone guard and all of the other strength players have got guard and he doesn't have a troll so this is this is a really nice very tv efficient as well right it would it would be like you know about 1850 the thing is if, if he buys the two linos to give himself a bench then uh he's giving the rats a wizard and a wizard could definitely give them the win so that'll be interesting to see if he uh if he allows the rats to get a wizard or not or what like you know the inducements are how they shake out but i mean i'm definitely favoring the orcs there oh, mr page versus some nurgly men's mr page has probably got the best team in the tournament i would say 42 6 4. <laughs> it's, that's a lot of games that's a lot of tv that's a lot of mighty blow claw pylon yes yes this is a uh... Uh, clearly a killer <laughs> It's an incredible team 2.2k 7 claws 3 claw palm Very TV efficient because there are no uh, There is only one double Which is the dodge in the ball mm. carrier And that's it No stats, no anything I mean, no, There is another dodge oh, In yeah. the Chaos Warrior yeah. And uh, a Chaos, Chaos Warrior with Fen yeah. Which, uh, okay, I mean, uh, stand firm. Could be another, maybe it was a chat that you know made a donation or something like that. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got the niggling injury, right? So I guess his his thing was, you know, it, this it, this kind of TV is fighting a lot of a lot of other claw teams, and they're obviously going to target him. So by giving him fend, it stops him getting piled on. So I can understand the reasoning, um, but yeah, and he's going up against a team that. You know, is his team with ten less skills, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see. Oh, I'll look at the record first: twenty-six, four-six, and yeah, this just looks. It's an all right team, really, but after seeing after seeing Mister Page's team, like this great beast, right? Guard stand firm block. It just Ooh. looks a bit. It looks a bit tragic with only three claws, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, only three claws, but I'm gonna claw pylon and. Regen. Mm. That's the one that uh, makes the difference in this kind of thing. You know, if Regen it works, mm. that's it. Well, I, I imagine he's going to get a lot of chances to use Regen. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. A lot of chances to use uh, Regen. And also, he'll probably get two babes to, yes. you know, uh, reduce to the maximum the, the chances of. Uh, Anything uh, bad happening there, and keeping players. Yeah, he doesn't have a doesn't have a dirty player though, because yeah, two two uh, two apples and a and a bride might have been a player, but he might get a wizard. Two apples know. with a nargel. I didn't say but no, two, two babes and, uh, and uh, a bribe. Two, Sorry, two babes and a bribe. Yes, yeah, two uh, babes and a bribe is is probably what you want to go for there, but maybe he wants to just have the wizard. Who knows? But yeah, obviously, Mister Page, big favorite there, I think. I think too, yes. Then, uh, again, it's going to be more or less who uh, wins the coin toss. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, the, the Tiny Cos has got a big element, but it's it's also like three full claw pommers versus one, and loads of claw mighty as well. Like, I think it's I think it's well in favour of Mr. Page, but you know, things can happen. Uh, right, be a moss of jubilation versus shockingly bad. Oh, can't type. 
Saint Engelbert Hex and his Dwarves. 1873, 1650, pretty standard dwarf team that we've seen a million times before. <laughs> My god, it's like, uh, yes, it's like a template. <laughs> it really is. Just yeah, make a screenshot, just yeah. make a screenshot, I use that, you know, for <laughs> now on. Yeah, only two stand firm though, so if he's up against a fast team, um, which I've got a feeling that these might be Skaven, Yep, it's Malala Noose with Skaven. 1602. Uh, he's got a natty anyway, so the the two stand firm might not be such an issue because he's got a natty anyway. 14 um, 10 uh, team value. Uh, in Obviously, they get three gutter runners. <laughs> That's the team. Three gutter runners and a dream. Well, I mean, this somehow looks better than the 1600 Skaven team, doesn't it? Because it's got three absolute insanity gutter runners. It's got an Edge 6 one, a Movement 10 Sprint one, and a Strength 3 Edge 5 one. Like, the, if if only he'd played more games, right? Like, these this these three players, especially like this one, with a, he doesn't have any other skills, he doesn't have Block or Wrestle, he doesn't have Sure Feet and the other skills. How many, how many games has uh, Malanus played? What was the record of the team? He only played 18. And, and he, two of these have been in the cup, right? So only played sixteen total. Mm. But uh, if only he'd played more games, because this is uh, this could have been an amazing team. But it can still win, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, uh, I mean, IG six street ball uh, wrestle is like, uh, yeah, how can you protect versus that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a pretty crazy team. So I think he's actually favourite to beat the dwarves. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not, right? Dwar dwarves might just chew him up and spit him out. Yeah, it's probably that might that's probably tougher than his next match, right? If he wins, because he can just rely on the one turner and stuff. So it's interesting, but uh, yeah, I think that might that, the dwarves might just end him. Okay, Stickem Hittums versus Destroza. Destroza Familias Football Club. Ah. That's a Spanish name. A uh, family destroyer. Ah. Have Fleming Blood Bowl 3? I have no idea. I think. Yeah, I think he is. He is. Yeah, he, he is. is. He's he not as good as he is in, uh, in Blood Bowl 3. Right. 1732, Pongbot Humans. Oh, yeah, these got these got banged on, didn't they, by uh, by the undead, but then got, got the win in the end. This is a pretty unspectacular human team. I mean, the Blitzers uh, with Blotch are. Uh, Blotch Guard are nice. Mm. And the uh, catcher movement nine, Aji. So, oh, Aji three. Yeah, plus he, he lost. Minus he Aji. lost the plus Aji. Yes. Oh, diced. Oh, diced. <laughs> but yeah, only twelve players. It's it's not looking great. And he's up against. Mr. Pepino. I wonder if this is Hirumazeo. <laughs> this is one of his many alts. <laughs> 1772. And. Mr. Oh. Pickle. Ah. In English. And look, we've, we've got the template. <laughs> there, there you go, the template in the right order, you know, the, the place in the right order. <laughs> yes, yes. More or the same. Well, this one has a long view with strength 4. Yeah. Sound fair. Yeah. And he can have three stand firm now, so that'll be nice. We want having three stand firm for the LOS against um, one turns, three mighty blows, and a move up, blodge, blodge tackle. Pretty, pretty nice runner. Um, I think they should have enough for the humans. Baggins Unite versus another boring orc team. <laughs> Baggins Unite, that could be a halfling team. It should be, but it's Guido Baggins with Wood Elves. 16-5-2. Oh. oh, a nice dancer and a nice catcher. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, he's a... Uh, uh, War Dancer leaps, uh, takes the ball, uh, catcher picks up, scores. Yeah. It's, uh, it's bare, bare bones, but you know, Wood Elves are super good, so there's there's still a chance that. Uh, yeah, they don't need many players with the skills. Just three of them are enough, and the rest just flesh uh, shields. Yeah, 
up against Gogo Bay, 1943. It was a small, an even smaller team. He's got this really nice Mr. Throw. So it's going to be hard to sack the ball from this super Mr. Throw. Ooh. But then he's oh, only well, five, well, so. well. <laughs> I think the Elves will have enough to take this, personally. I think the Elves are the favourites here. Mm. There you go. And then uh, we've got... Cats with Claws versus Roller Dolphs. Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit biased here. But let's have a look. <laughs> oh, it's Eye Ravel. Oh, oh dear. 33.68. He's got a monster chorf team. 2.2 million. Whoa! Whoa! And he's going to have a, another claw pump because uh, the Chaos Dwarf Broker still is a. Has to big a skill. Yes. And yeah. many chances it's going to be bare pylon. Yes, unless it's strength, it's going to be pylon, I think. I mean, maybe Ooh. movement, right? You could argue for like movement against elves. Could be a key. Well, in, in, in a, in a uh, short blocker. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? You could argue you? for it. If you're all 6 4, you could argue for taking movement, would help him more this game. But no, it's going to be pylon. It's going to be Look, pylon or strength. Yeah. In any case, it will be the other option would be a stand firm to have an extra stand firm to put on the line and avoid the one turners. Yeah, but he's got three, hasn't he? No, I think I think it would be. It's it's pylon or strength, realistically. Um, quite a nice little uh, fast legs the bull sent off. And he's up against the team is called Rollerdorfs, but it isn't Rollerdorfs. It is a glorious high elf team, coached by Sambo Simon, nineteen three four, and every player, nearly every player, is Jimmy Fantastic. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh my God! What happened here, Jimmy? <laughs> Who is this Sambo Simon person? <laughs> it's a uh, Martin Septim in, t in Twitch. Oh, right, okay. Jimmy Fantastic here with his uh, Blitzer SM for Lib. Good. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some good elves. One of them died in the last game, but there's some, I mean, there's some really good elves, isn't there? Arch 5, Strength yeah. 4. Yeah, the, the, the only problem is uh, the, the other team. Yes, yeah. The, the, that's <laughs> the murder machine. <laughs> yeah, that's so unfortunately, I've got to pick against myself there. And, uh, but uh, with a wizard, because it's 400 TV, a wizard, extra apples, and things like that, it's always an option. Yeah, Eldril, Eldril, like, you know, no cage. And they haven't got a good ball carrier, the, the, the Chorfs, so, you know, it'll be interesting. Uh, you know, Chorfs are a nightmare for high elves, but, um, like, really, for, in particular for, like, high elves, right? High el like, Chorfs are bad for all elves. But they're worse for like dark elves and high, and high elves because their claw actually does things. So yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be a nightmare for the for the roller dwarfs. But yeah, I gotta gotta pick the uh, chorfs there, unfortunately. And then we've got Mr. Bringer hates slots versus wow. <laughs> Someone just was lazy. Yes, yeah, the classic uh, press keyboard. <laughs> Falangia. Um What's his stadium? His stadium is jif, 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 jif. <laughs> 19 for one though, pretty good record with uh, probably a dead, a dead uh, yeti, right? The dead yeti, but the strength five uh, warfare mm. covers for it. Yeah, Pommer, strength up, add up. It's very bare bones, isn't it? Very, very, extremely, very bare extremely bones. bare bones. They don't have much. Uh, Killing potential besides the mighty blow uh, pylon and the dirty player, but I don't know how they've got this far to be honest. <laughs> but they have. They're in they the final the... 16. That's the magic of the Norse. Mm. Flipping Norsing. And they're up against 963 Dung with Mr. Bringer hates slots. Oh, yeah, he's got the weird wolf, hasn't he? He's got the weird wolf. <laughs> Wrestle jugs. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? That's, that, that's a. I yeah. mean, having also juggernaut <laughs> makes it like uh, as a sucker, maybe is a. Yeah, yeah, Juggernaut after the agility, yes, it does the, the, and Juggernaut, the, the skill that cancels uh, Russell. <laughs> yeah, 
So you can wrestle them with your wrestle. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. You know, if you have Block and Juggernaut, you can destroy the wrestle pieces. But yeah. uh, not, this is not the case. But, I mean, as a... Sucker is... Okay, yeah, yeah. He can suck nearly anything, but... Uh, mm. uh, yeah, like, yeah, a, 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 a Rackledge 4 Wolf is a fine wolf to have as your second wolf. Yes, um, but, but it doesn't have wolf. Dodge. Yeah, and there's only one wolf. Yeah, like, this, it would be miles better with Dodge instead of Juggernaut, yeah. Like, and it would less, be less TV as well. So, uh, yeah, that's a really weird, really, really weird wolf. Um, but, you know, everything else is kind of fine, right? The, well, I mean... but, I mean, the name of the wolf is in Samich. <laughs> It's a way another of the weirdos that form part of this community. So yeah, that's a, <laughs> that, that, that fits. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Mr. Bringer, he's got the ghoul there. Blood, blood, shoe hands. Uh, no, blood. Yeah, blood, shoe hands. Sidestep. Edgefall ghoul as well. Like it's all all right, but like kind of min max, right? The rest of it. Um, but yeah, that that wolf is weird. Like it's weird only having one wolf, and it's weird. Having 15 players, 3 rolls, 18-20, doesn't look like 18-20. No, no, it's it's weird. Isn't he it doesn't feel like 18-20. I mean, there is so much TV in the, the Wolf 230, but the, I mean, and the fact that the, the, the Golems are developed, the Golems, well, developed the Golems, they have two skills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which for Golems really tends expensive. to be two more than usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, the the wolf is trash. But there you oh, go. So, I, I think that I think he'll win. Himself, I think that he's himself in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he'll win though. So there you go. There's there's the picks, and uh, obviously, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. And uh, I don't know. Look, look. I guess favorites like is Mr. Page versus I Revel in the final, maybe. It's probably the most likely thing looking Could be, but I, ar I already forgot every single team, so... Uh... <laughs> I forgot every team apart from the 2.2 .2 Chaos and the 2.2 .2 Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> yes, 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 those, those, those are very intense contenders. <laughs> yes. There you go. Right. Well, I mean, yes, Dark is done, but Mighty Blow would have won you some games and Dodge would have won you some games as well, right? And Block would have won you some games. So it yes, you, you can use games. you can use the card that Jukes has been useful sometimes <laughs> because you know all the skills are useful sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing, right? Like at the end of the day, the skill choices don't matter that much. It's all about playing the whole game, right? And and. You know, some things are even the things that are widely accepted as the best are only going to be marginally better than other things. Uh, but you know, it's still we can still we are we're still allowed to laugh at somebody who has wrestle and juggernaut and not dodge like that. <laughs> that actual yes, combination yes, yes. of all these skills is pretty. Funny. You 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 have to admit that the uh, Dan, darkest Dan, you have still have to admit that that is a very interesting choice of skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a very bizarre player, and especially without another another wolf to do like you know the other half of the job that wolves do. Um, so yeah, but anyway, there you go. That's the that's the preview for the quarterfinals. I'll put them on YouTube as soon as possible. And uh, thank you very much, Fai. It's been glorious having you in the booth as always. As always, a pleasure to be here, and I hope I will be with in Nauru. I've uh, enjoyed this uh, preview. There you go. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.